Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today, we're gonna to be comparing the Predator Air 2 to the Predator Air Rush. Air Rush is brand new. Full disclosure, Predator sent me both of these cues. This one I've had for a couple years. This one I've had for a couple months. Let's take a look. The main difference is obvious. Okay, we have a standard type jump cue here and we have carbon fiber here. I'll talk about the advantages of each one in a second. But in the meantime, they're both just about the same weight. At least they feel the same weight in my hand, even though this one is a little bit longer and I'll talk to you about that in a second as well. So I use two different techniques when it comes to shooting jump shots. The first one, and my least favorite of the two, is the dart method. The way the dart works is you're gonna hold your cue here, just, just a tiny bit behind the actual shaft here. Actually, the shaft is here. I'm holding it right at the balance point just about. You're just gonna hold it very lightly and all the jumping motion is going to happen with your wrist. The better you can do this, guys, the better you're going to be at using this technique. So if I had to play the four and my cue ball was this close to my object ball, the dart method is king because the other method I'm gonna show you, these balls are a little too close for me to clear it. So if I needed to hit that four ball or make that four ball in this case, I would come down here, you can see, I'm just holding it with a couple fingers here. I can get much closer to this ball, which means if I hit it properly, I can clear that ball that I would not be able to clear otherwise. So that's how the dart works. Let's look at the underarm and how I would shoot it if I had more distance out of these. Let's say the balls look more like this. Once again, I'm gonna aim rail first I like to use the full cue, but you don't even have to put the extension on here to shoot this shot. It's just something I do. It probably has something to do with my height. So here, I can get here, because you can see my cue doesn't have to be jacked up as much, because again, angle in, angle out. So this angle is going to clear that ball with no problem, take me to the rail. Another important thing, light grip on the cue. You're not shooting the dart, but you're holding it lightly. That is very important, guys. And I'll show you in a moment where we're gonna hit it. But in the meantime, so there, you can see we hit rail first on that. Now, whether you're aiming for the full ball or rail first, it's really up to you, depending on where you need to get on the table and different things that you need to do. I, in this situation, like to go rail first because if I hit it perfectly and they're going, the cue ball's going straight at that pocket, I may end up scratching in that pocket. Let's now, take a look at the difference between the Air Rush and the Air 2. First off, as far as weight goes, I'm sure I'm going to get some specs on this and find out that it's a little bit heavier even though it is feather light to me. It does have a rubber grip. So this particular one has a rubber grip on the detachable part of the cue. I like the rubber grip. If I had to shoot that same shot, with this cue. This time, my hand is gonna be on the rubber grip. I'd have the same type of distance. Once again, I'm gonna aim rail, rail. <laughs> say that 10 times. I'm gonna aim rail first. Light grip on the cue, which is a lot easier for me when there is a grip on the cue. So light grip on the cue, rail first, and the ball is in the pocket. Which one do I prefer? Well, I gotta tell you something. From a aesthetics point of view, this is king. It is beautiful. It's all black like a lot of my cues are. I really do like it. The Revo shaft, I think looks really great with the black cue. So aesthetically, this is our winner. From a technology standpoint, this is our winner. Which one? Would I prefer? Of course, I'm going to go with the newer, higher technology Air Rush. Why would you get this one and why are we even talking about this one in the meantime? 
because the tiebreaker here for some of you is going to be price. This queue, as of this recording, costs this much. And this queue, as of this recording, costs this much. So when it comes to dollars in, this queue is going to win, it's going to be less expensive. But in the long run, and a lot of people miss this part when we're talking about carbon fiber. A lot of people miss this part when we're talking about quality cues like Predator cues. In the long run, this one is going to be less expensive. Why? Because this does not chip and break and warp and do all of those things that happens with a wooden shaft over time. Now, which one would I buy if I didn't shoot a lot of jump shots? I might buy this one because you're going to save some money. If you use that money that you save wisely, maybe on some lessons, then it makes sense. But here are the things that most people do wrong when they're trying to shoot a jump shot. They hold the cue way too tight. Light, super light, 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 light grip. Okay, that's going to be key. Number two, they're not committing to this shot. What I mean is, you're gonna be driving this ball, this, this hard object here, into another hard object to get it off the table. If you baby this, if you don't commit to it, it's not gonna come off the table. Number three, related to that, you have to have a good stroke. You can't come up here and just almost hit this ball and expect to send it down table. The way I learned the starting point on a jump shot was hit the top of the stripe on a striped ball. So whether you're using a striped ball or a cue ball, it's the same spot. I'm hitting the top where this stripe would be and this is your starting point. As you shoot follow and draw and other things with this shot, you're going to change it up. But that is going to show you where your contact point is on the ball, right there on 90% of the jumps that you're going to shoot. So checklist, hit it in the right spot, follow through, commit to the shot, keep a light grip, work on the shot, major mistake, trying to go too far too soon. Before you can jump a ball, you'll probably be able to jump a piece of chalk, maybe two pieces of chalk, and then maybe part of a ball and then a full ball. So put all those things in place. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.